Are you Mr. Stover? All the time, what can I do for you? I'd like to rent a plane, what kind you got? Mm -hmm. Hold this, please. Come on. Mr. Fryer, you know that lady you pulled out of the burning house last night? That was my wife's sister. The whole family is obliged. Come on. Give me the soda. Figured you might come out. That's why I came in early. You better let her put your puff down to do his business. Take us three and a half hours to get there. Got you, didn't I? Figured it all out. You give me one of your IOUs and I tell him that you made me do it at gunpoint. Is it my plane? Belongs to Phil Krager. Owns a hardware store. But he won my one, I tell him. <sighs> come on, come on, get around there. I I gotta get back before Christmas Eve. Boy, you're sure lucky today, you know? You're not driving? I better lay us a bag of worms on the street. Come on, Nick! I've been watching your story. You should have seen the TV last night. This commentator, he made quite a case for you. Uh, to begin with the Haskin girl, she refused to press charges. She would. Yeah. All well, you have to make up for is that girl's car, the pistol and stuff. That's for the guard. Well, this commentator says that here in America, you're innocent until proved guilty, sir. Hey. Everybody I know has been talking about you. Did you take anything you didn't leave an IOU for? No, I didn't. That's good. Then all you got to worry about is breaking out. And after what you did last night, you can get the whole town to write letters to your governor. Eh? Oh, Alejandro Maria, well thought of here. Well thought of. I'm pleased to hear that. But they'll shoot first and talk second. And I can't blame them. I will, too, if they try to stop me. I hope you don't have to. So do I. Where does the other man live that was here? Jesus? Oh, I'm afraid he left early this morning to visit his family in Albuquerque for the holidays. You're never going to remember. Are you Mr. Estima? No, Inspector. I never am. That's Children's Hospital there, mister. You want to stop? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, can't get in until visitor's hours. Just let us out that bar up there. Right. Beer, please. Haven't had any. Then ginger ale, please. 
Give me another one. Ooh. Oh, yes, that little trip to paradise. I remember something about that, didn't I? Oh, dead. What do you think of that? What? Dead. Sands. That's right. Oh, bye. You know, why should you meet my friend here? What's your name? Tom. Thanks. This here's me. Who's a good boy? I. We, uh, met you? I don't think so. No. Give us something else. Sick of looking at dead people. We all die sooner. Right? J.J. Tester and his secretary, Miss Wanda Dulac, were discovered in a motel room without any clothes on. Here's a picture as Putnam police escorted them to Oakland's car. Officers, if you don't seem to understand who I am, I am J.J. Tester of Magnolia. I know the girl. <laughs> Mrs. Chester, who has been in Chicago visiting her mother, has returned home and filed suit for divorce. Here's an interview with Carl Baldwin, the proprietor of that motel. Well, sir, I commenced to get suspicious long about the second day. And what do you mean by that, Mr. Baldwin? Well, for one thing, they wouldn't let the maids in. Just pass the towels out the door. And? And... They wouldn't answer the phone, neither. I had to go down there and try and talk to him through the door. Mr. Besser claims he was kidnapped by Thomas Pryor. Now, did you see Pryor? No, sir. I never did. Just girls' voices. I think he made that part up. And from the number of barbecue sandwiches they ordered, I'd say there was three of them in there. You mean? Yeah. Him and two girls. Thank you, Bill. A related story comes from Buckhorn, Arizona. T.M. Pryor, as he calls himself, reportedly saved the lives of Mrs. Alejandro Rodriguez and her three-year-old son last night by taking them out of their burning home. He got Mrs. a little dog. About five o'clock. Hello, little doggy. Man's voice shouting, How about that? He's carrying a dog. Very crisp little buddy. Hey, Lou, come look. I thought I saw something moving here, come Mr. No dogs allowed in here. Sorry, I... Ah, uh, come on, Lou. Oh. Could I use the washroom first? I guess so. But you gotta get that dog out of here. I will. Straight back on the right. Hurry, Nick. 
own. Freeze fry. I got a hair trigger. Now, very slowly. Put your hands against that wall. Spread your legs. Deep father out. Now, don't you even twitch. I'll blow your spine in half. You hear? Checking this bar every two hours. Only one in the block. We want you home real bad, boy. Now you're gonna gonna wait right here for me, ain't you? I gotta call the local police. Never known such love. The fire 